Hey guys, Mr. Ross here, bringing you a gameplay, 69 kills. It was a 4v6 for nearly the entire game, I was just playing solo. Um, I didn't manage to get any more deatomizers, I got a lot of fails. I think I was on a nice little streak too, um, but you'll see me obviously how I die, and I obviously kept the kill cam, and, oh the death cam in there, just to let you know. <laughs> I, um, I kept all the clips of me getting sniped, um, because I still think it's bullshit, they did say that they were fixing it. Um, so I can't wait for the full release um, because there will be a lot of changes. I actually tweeted out a guy named Joe um, and he was the lead multiplayer designer uh, for this game for Infinite Warfare and I tweeted out saying it would be good if I could see who my people in my party are on the minimap. A lot of the time the minimap was glitched and bugged and the colours would always be like green and blue and you wouldn't know who the hell's who. Um, you'd get randoms that join the game and they're freaking green and then it was just really annoying that I couldn't tell who was in my party and he, I, I asked him if we could have a neutral colour so he can understand who is on our team in our party chat and uh, he has managed to um, reply and he said yes so that's good. Uh, good to know that um, they are still listening to feedback so um, I'm happy about that. There was also a lot of lag compensation uh, talk um, and chatter so hopefully um, that all gets fixed. I'm going into the game with a clear mind, um, very excited still, um, a little bit more excited for COD 4 uh, at the moment, but once again, any game can get wrecked by a connection, I don't care if COD 4 is the best COD that everyone says since, you know, Call of Duty's creation, COD 4 could be shit, if the, if the connection's not good, the, the game's shit, I don't care how good the game is, I'm not going to play a game that has a poor connection, Especially this game. If this game does not improve, you will not be seeing gameplay on my channel of this. You'll be seeing a lot of other games like Skyrim Remastered, uh, which is coming out very soon, and just games that I enjoy. Um, if if the connection doesn't become good, that's what you'll see. I'm just letting you just know now, um, because honestly, for me, I like competitive aspect. And for me, if the connection is not there, that's not competitive. That's unfair. And there's the death when I was on my streak, as you can see. Um, pretty bullshit. Here you go. Here's the kill cam. He's shooting the first guy. I've jumped. I'm already in the air on my screen. I've shot him. Somehow he manages to know that I'm already in the air and escaped the fuck out of me. But yeah, so um, that's that. Hopefully, like I said, a lot of it is being looked into. Drifter made a complaining video about how poor the connection was. Um, which I agree with every single statement he made in his video, so make sure you go and watch it if you haven't. Um, everything he said about this game was true, and hopefully it gets fixed. Uh, they, the, the thing that sucks about this is uh, they have so many issues they got to fix, and they've only got like six, seven days left, and the game's already gone gold, so they can't change shit. Um, so that's sort of going to suck. I noticed as well the dedicated servers. You know, I had some fucking random kid on my Twitter complaining like he, he I, I complained about the game and he was saying you know stop being a pussy it's a beta blah 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 the game's going gold don't be fucking retarded um, it's not going to change um, the, the game is the game uh, a beta is a beta man you can't connection is based on the servers and 90% of the time I'm on if not what do I mean 90% 98% of the time yes I actually got a figure mate 98% of the time was on a fucking Peter Pier, so um, hopefully, like I said, man, I don't know. I, I really hope, man. I just I don't want to sound dodgy because um, obviously you, you've got to give you got to come in with a clear mind. So I'm going to stop being so negative about it until the full release. Um, but if the full release is shit, expect a montage of me raging, um, basically dying of stupid shit. And yeah, I, I would really love to make a montage of me getting sniped all the time and dying. It'd be brilliant to watch, because <laughs> if that shit doesn't get fixed on the fucking start of release, um, then I don't know what will. Uh, COD 4, COD 4 it'll be, but like I said before, it's based on Advanced Warfare's engine, so hopefully there's no skill-based matchmaking sneaking in there, and hopefully it's smooth. But mainly just give us some dedicated servers, man, Activision, it's dedicated servers, please. Um, we don't live in America, I live in Australia. America have like fucking 20 different servers over there. We have one. I seen one. I thought when I first started the game, on the first day, I thought I was playing on a Melbourne server. It turns out it was just a Melbourne peer-to-peer -peer host, um, which was quite embarrassing because I actually was quite excited to finally play on a decent host and it turns out, no, it's just Sydney, man. 
and that's all I played on. So once again, we get shafted every year. Um, the Australians have to play on fucking AIDS connection. So hopefully they uh, bring out a Melbourne server on release, but I don't know. It's probably not going to happen anyway. Xbox have one in Melbourne, so I don't know, man. I don't know. Don't know anymore, bro. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay anyway. Skyrim Remastered's coming out on Friday. Titanfall 2's coming out on Saturday, I think, so I'll probably get some gameplay of that. Because at least I could play that and enjoy it. Um, I hate being negative about this game. I honestly have never been negative on my channel until this game decided to come out and yeah it's just it's pissed me off connection needs to be fixed and then I'll like it these guys peace